this is a technique I've used many times here in the shop. I do it about once a year and it's worked great. I could probably go every two years if I really like to. But today I'm going to show you how to do it. All you need for this project uh, is some Johnson's Paste Wax, which works great. Little uh, Two rags for it. Um, a palm sander. 220 grit sandpaper. 400 and 800. You want to make sure your sandpaper is uh, capable of being uh, utilized for wet sanding because that's what we're going to be doing. You're also going to need the Canon W40 you can see right there in the background. We're going to start by using our trusty shop brush here and we're going to brush off uh, all sawdust and everything uh, from the top we're getting ready to prepare. From there we're going to get our Canon WD-40, apply it to the top and cover everything. From there we're going to use our sanding block, we're then going to go uh, with our 220 grit, our 400 and our 800. You want to make sure you take out all the imperfections um, that you can with the lower grits because it's going to be a lot harder as you go up in grit. It may seem like the cast iron is starting to dry out a little bit uh, when you're sanding. All you got to do is add a little more WD-40 and just keep on going. Alright, next up we're going to give it a whack with our 400 grit. Finally, we're now going to go over it with our 800 grit. Next, we're going to get our Johnson's Paste Wax and start applying it to the top. So, I found putting the wax on, you want to do it in a nice circular motion. Uh, you want to wait about 15 to 20 minutes um, and let it set up. If you go too early, the wax won't harden all the way and you're not going to be able to buff it out correctly. Now with a nice smooth towel, we're just going to start buffing it off. All right, now that everything's buffed off, the top is very nice and smooth. Uh, I usually repeat the steps about two to three times and it's as smooth as glass and ready to go for another year. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to uh, subscribe or leave any comments if you have any questions. Um, thanks again for watching.